This is a pipeline we use at StreamSets to ingest data from S3. It looks quite complex because there's some special case handling over here, but let's zoom in on the beginning of the pipeline. Now, some of the data we ingest is slowly changing dimensions. So we might get uh, the same data day after day until it changes. So we want to keep track of the date that it applies to and also which data is current. And I'll show you how we do that. So we're reading the CSV report from S3 and we have produce events set. And what this does is it generates events of different types. So when we finished ingesting a file, we'll get a finished file event and that includes the record count and so far and so on. Now what we can do is process those events, but only we only want the finished file event and we only want to process it when record count is greater than zero. So if we have uh, an empty day or whatever, we don't want to bother hitting the database. And then what we do here is we parse out the effective date and the table name from the uh, S3 object name. And I cover this in detail in another video. The object names have this format where it's the report name and then an underscore and then the date to which the report applies. So we parse those out and uh, then we pass on the event to uh, JDBC query executor. Now, the important thing here is that we can actually run any SQL here. So we don't have to do a select query, we can actually do an update. So what we say is we update that table uh, that we parsed out of the uh, object name, setting the current column to zero where the effective date is less than the date uh, that we're reading in right now. And this is really important because this event will fire after we've processed all of the data. It's when we finish processing that file. So we need this where clause to make sure that we're only clearing the current flag on the old data. And then the last little detail is over in this expression evaluator, I'm setting current to one so that each time we write new rows, uh, that current flag will be set. If we go to the database, I've crafted this query to uh, show the operation of the pipeline without sharing any proprietary data. And if we run it, what we can see is that uh, the current flag is clear for all dates in this uh, table, except for the most recent one, the most recent data set that was written.